Good morning, Modern Steaders. Last night, we went and picked up the new puppy. <sighs> the girls are in the house right now with him. I got some footage of when we brought him home and Pluto's first reactions. I'll put those clips in right here, if I remember. Wanna well, get your first reaction of the puppy. That's okay. He's, she's fine. She's sniffing him. What do you think, Pluto? What do you smell? <laughs> the big girl's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, big girl, you stay away. Yeah, you walk away. You He's kid. fine. Oh, Pluto. Pluto. You're running too fast. You're scaring the puppy. What do you think, Big Row? You think, <laughs> I don't know. What is that? He's smaller than you, but he's going to be bigger than you. <sighs> Starting the video a little bit later than normal this morning. It's supposed to be getting the big snowstorm this afternoon. I know, I'm late this morning, huh? Now you're off schedule. This is the day we normally do grocery shopping. And we usually go at night or in the early afternoon and you know, if we went at that time today, the grocery store would be mobbed. What are you doing? So I wanted to go and get the groceries done. Oh. It was nice, there was nobody out. What do you girls think you're eating? You gonna eat my zipper? You eating my zipper? I'm not too sure if we've said, but Tanner is a miniature Australian Shepherd. What that means is he's an Australian Shepherd and they've just been breeding him down in size in the U.S. Got him last night. He did really good last night sleeping. We figured he'd be waking up like every couple of hours like a baby. But no, he slept right through, I think, to like 3 or 4 in the morning. Yeah, I wanted to get to the grocery store this morning before they got too crazy and busy today. Boop. You want to go out and feed New York City with me? When they were first predicting the snowstorm hitting us, they were calling for up to 30 inches. Now it looks like they're forecasting 8 to 14 inches. So I'm not sure how much we're going to end up getting. But we spent quite a bit of time the other day cleaning up the homestead and moving snow around. So we'll have a place to put the snow if we get it. I guess after the storm, we're supposed to get some really strong winds. And it's supposed to be like 25 below zero with the wind chill. That's going to be a cold day. Come on in ladies, you still haven't spread your wood shavings around. I'm surprised, we only have one egg so far today. Curious to see how the wood shavings work out in the nesting box. 
Oh, two eggs. That's a nice dark brown egg. the first time I've used wood shavings in New York City and I don't think they care for it. The chickens in the greenhouse seem to like the wood shavings. They'll peck right through them and scratch them, but they haven't touched them and they're acting strange this morning. So from now on we'll just be using straw and hay in New York City. What are you doing Pluto? Come on. Looks to me like we had a deer run through the trail right here. Right there. There's another one right here. There. And some more right here. And they're smaller. So there must have been a couple of them. Right there. Oh yeah, look at that big track. It looks small on camera, but that's my hand. It's a good size. So they ran down here. Ha! Huh. That's the first time I've seen deer using that trail. That's pretty wild. I love seeing stuff like that. But I was like, let me in. I'm cold. Here's the new puppy. Tanner. What are you doing, Tanner? Think you got enough toys to choose from? Huh? You think you got enough toys? Yes. Nope. Oh, well, to the. Okay. So it's like, what about me? What about me? Huh? Yeah, what about you? He just slid back. He couldn't stay sitting. <laughs> he jumped over the ball. The chickens in the greenhouse need some fresh bedding too. We'll use the last of the wood shavings we have for them. We have a friend who's milling up some flooring for his house. So he's giving us the shavings from the pine. We'll let the birds spread it for us. They like playing it on top of the worm bin. I haven't gone in there and taken the hay bales off and checked the worm bin lately. It's been so cold out, I'm afraid that if I 
take the hay off and let cold air in there. It's not going to be good for the composting worm, so figure it is what it is for now. And when it warms up again, I'll remove the hay bales and check and see how the worms are doing. This morning when I came out to feed them, I could hear one of the barred rock roosters learning to crow before I came in the greenhouse. I'm not quite sure which one it is. But right now his crow is pretty funny. It usually takes the roosters, I don't know, a month or two to get their real crow going. Pretty soon we'll be able to catch that on camera and you can hear what it sounds like. I think we have two roosters in that batch of barred rocks. Those are the ones that got hatched here on the property when the silky hen went broody. She sat on a clutch of eggs this past fall. Do you know you're chewing on Pluto's dog toy there, Tanner? Looks like the storm's just starting. I'm seeing a few snowflakes. You know what? We need to check and see if we got any gasoline on hand for our generators, just in case we lose power. Yeah, that one's full. I think we have enough gas. It's one of those things, I don't like to keep too much on hand. We don't use gasoline very much here, other than in our vehicles. We don't have a lot of small engines that take gas, so if you leave it on hand, it just ends up going bad. The goats heard that I was out. They want me to give them some more hay. You girls ready for your afternoon snack? Did you eat all your hay from this morning? You sure did. Get you another half a flake. You knocked over your poop bucket. Good thing there wasn't anything in there. Here we go. You ready? Enjoy the hay. Yeah, the snow is coming. I don't think Olivia's gonna wanna leave Tanner's side to come out and collect the eggs with me today. So we'll do that while we're out here. Pluto is getting along really well with Tanner. Tanner's not very playful yet. I'm sure within a couple of weeks, <laughs> they'll be all over each other playing rough. But for now, she's taking more on as like a mother role. Figaro came up to him one time and Pluto got in between Figaro and Tanner and told Figaro, you better leave him. He didn't, Figaro really didn't go at him, but he just had like the look in his eye. Pluto wasn't having it. Where are you, Pluto? Three more eggs. Oh, they buried one. That's kind of fun. Got one buried. Yeah.
You ready to go in? You're being a good boy, Tanner. Until I disturbed you. It's starting to snow out now. Made some booties for Tanner. Yep. I don't think he's gonna wear them, but I tried. You don't think he's gonna <laughs> yeah. wear them? Uh, yeah, he tested the one and he just like thinks it's a chew toy. Yeah, and he pulls it off and then he walks around. Right. Right. I bet okay. you if we get him used to him when he's younger, you'll have a better chance okay. later on. Yeah. Let's see how you do with your booties. <laughs> come on. Come on. You liked it last night. Come on. Tana. It's, hey. like, it's like, what do you have on my feet? It's on my feet. You're getting covered in snow, mister. Let's go for it. I've never had carrots and corn chowder, but yeah, we're gonna try it. It's something new. Do you want me to cut the onion for you? Yes. Yes. You want onion? yes. Too happy. You like your puppy? You got a new best friend. Family that cooks dinner together eats together, right? <laughs> then we got the puppy sleeping over here. One clove of garlic. Don't make a mess. I'll try not to.
Ja. ja. Well, you don't want that. You don't want the potato. She's not a veggie person anyway. You're not a vegetarian Pluto. A lot of dogs like carrots. She doesn't like carrots. A lot of dog likes carrots? I've never seen. Yeah, everybody knows dog likes carrots. Does smell good, doesn't it? Everything? Yeah, that's one of the best parts about cooking. As you get to smell all the aromas. Yeah. Now you can cook it. Maybe he won't need it. Mm -hmm. Ready to make some zucchini bread? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Awesome. Let's get her done. Get her done. Down pretty good right now. I think they sell that in the bulk aisle. I know we refilled one. Must be Saw that. <laughs> See your shadow? Yeah. He helped you pick out the case. He yeah. chose yellow. He pulled out this color. Yeah. Nice picture. Look at those beautiful yolks. Are the goats out? Did you run them out there? I did. It's only what happens to me. We love to get our zucchini already prepared from the summer with our food processor and freeze it up so that we have some zucchini bread for the winter. So what do you put, two cups of zucchini? Are you a little bit over two cups? We really like using these bread pans made by USA Pan. We really like them because you don't have to use any cooking spray in them. When we get them baking, everything just falls right out of them. I'll have a link in the description down below from where we got them from. Maybe someday.
a special ingredient. Cinnamon and sugar right on top. Yes. You like that part, Livies? Yes. Oh, Did I scare you? What do you think, Tanner? Did I scare you too? Oh, what was it? Three quarters for this? Does it smell good? You brave in the weather and bringing your dog out to go to the bathroom? crackers. So far, it doesn't look like we got much snow on top of Gina's car. There's an inch, maybe two. They're still calling for 16 plus inches of snow, so it's gonna be interesting to see what we wake up to in the morning. It's always an adventure. <laughs> Thanks guys for coming along on our journey with us. You guys are a true blessing to our family. Just wanna thank you for being here. We are all excited about the new puppy, Tanner. I think he's gonna make a great addition to the homestead. He seems to be getting along really good with Pluto. Figaro, I don't think Figaro knows what to think of him yet. So time will tell. We'll see you guys right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, where we're stuck in the tundra for this winter. Bye. You girls ready for your night snack? I was just talking about you, Figaro. You found us.